Hey guys, welcome to Skill Link. In our daily life, we perform several tasks such as moving a couch, lifting a book, etc. When we lift such things, we say that we have done work. So how can we define work? Well, work is said to be done when a force is applied on an object which tends to cause a motion. When we push a couch, we apply a force on the couch which causes it to move from its initial position. After doing such work, we get tired and feel thirsty. To quench this thirst, we drink cold water. Most of us have seen how the ice cubes in a glass of water melt away. Do you wonder why it occurs? Well, it occurs because of heat transfer from the warm water to cold ice cubes. In today's video, we'll talk about work and heat transfer in thermodynamics. We will discuss their definition and concept, sign convention, and the similarities and differences between work and heat transfer. Let's begin with work. As we know, work is said to be done when an external and unbalanced force acts on a system which produces a motion. When a part of the boundary of the system experiences a displacement under the action of a force, the work done, W, is given by calculating the product of force and the displacement experienced in the direction of the force. Work is a transient quantity, which means that it depends on time. It appears at the boundary during the occurrence of change of state within a system. We talked about work, but what is work transfer? Well, work transfer is said to occur when energy is transferred between the system and the surroundings. Work is a form of energy, but it is always said to be done during transit. This means that work is a form of energy which is transferred only when a motion is caused by an external and unbalanced force. Now. Let's understand the sign convention for work. For this purpose, we will consider an example of a fluid under compressive action by a piston. When work is done on the system by the surroundings, then the work done is said to be negative. In our example, the piston compresses the fluid in the container. Since the fluid is the system, work is done on the system by the piston which is the surrounding. Hence, the work done is negative. When the compressive forces are removed or reduced significantly, the fluid which was under compression starts to expand. As a result, the piston is moved upwards. Here, the work is done by the system on the surroundings. Therefore, the work done is said to be positive. Well, that's all for the concept of work. Now, let's move on to heat and heat transfer. In thermodynamics, heat is defined as a transient quantity which appears at the boundary of a system when a temperature difference between the system and surrounding is observed. Just like work, heat is also a transient quantity which is only observed when the system undergoes a change in state. When there is a difference between the temperature of the system and the surrounding, heat transfer takes place. If the heat flows from the surroundings into a system, then the heat transfer is said to be positive. On the other hand, heat transfer is said to be negative if it flows from the system to the surrounding. This concept can be understood using a very simple experiment. Let's consider a bowl full of tomato soup. The bowl is placed on a heater. This causes the tomato soup inside the bowl to heat. In this case, the heat is positive as it moves from the surrounding to the system, which is the tomato soup. Now, when we put the bowl away from the heater and leave it out for some time, the tomato soup starts to cool down. This is because heat is getting transferred from the system to the surrounding. Hence, heat is said to be negative in this case. Well, that's all for the concepts of heat and heat transfer. We also talked about sign conventions, right? Now let's talk about a few similarities between both heat and work. Heat and work are both path functions and are correlated with a process and not a state. It should be noted that neither of these are possessed by the system. So, in the case of work transfer, it stops when there is no unbalanced force acting between the system and the surrounding. In the case of heat transfer, it halts when there is no temperature difference between the system and the surrounding. Today, we talked about the concepts of heat and work transfer in thermodynamics. We also discussed their sign convention and the similarities between the two. We'll cover more topics on thermodynamics in our future sessions.